during the first session, the individual is a passenger, so I can ensure that they're able to spot and read traffic signs and signals, and also observe other roadway users. All right, Mike, I'm gonna be making a right turn out of here. I want you to tell me when it's safe to go. Okay, it's safe to go. How many sections of the light are there? There's a light to go straight, and there's also a turn light. Okay. Mike is using an autofocus by optic lens. He has already set the lens for distance, so when he drives, he won't get interference from the windshield. During this so next segment, I'm going to have Mike spot and read all the signs that he sees. I'm also going to ask him to tell me about the other roadway users. This is a good way to measure how effectively he's using the telescope and how accurately he's seeing things. So he will be talking through how this How comfortable is that for you? This is pretty comfortable because the sun's up high enough now that I'm not getting as much glare as I was getting earlier. Okay. Okay, there's a speed limit sign up there and it says 40 miles an hour. Seat belt sign. Is this a passing or a no passing zone? It's a passing zone. We're now going to move Mike to a more congested area to see that he can use his scope with more traffic around him. Okay, Mike, shift to reverse so we can get out of the parking space. Continue to verbalize what you're seeing so I can help you out when I need to. Okay, we're going to turn left out onto the street. Hey, Mike, okay. um, take a look there. Do you think it's a good idea to turn on red at this point? No, because the oncoming traffic's turning left right now. Okay. Okay, now then you're like... Light turn green. Mm-hmm. Now as you look this ahead, is a turn lane, okay. so I'm going to have to move over into the street lane. Okay. What about the lights on the vehicles in front of us? Yes, everybody's brake lights are working. Okay. Changing lanes. Mm -hmm. And now Mike did a nice thing there by hesitating since the light had been green a while. He hesitated, so if it were to change, he would be able to stop. Next stop light is green. At the traffic light ahead, you'll be making a right turn. One thing that you'll want to do that I didn't catch you doing was turning your head to look behind you when you make the lane change. An important part of that exercise is to demonstrate to the driver how far away he can see the sign and other hazard with his telescope compared to with his carrier lens. During the first session, we primarily, primarily focus on looking out, looking ahead, getting accustomed to using the telescope with some traffic around. As the lessons progress, we add more things such as looking at the dash controls and then looking at the mirror as well. But to start out with many patients, if they don't have driving experience, looking ahead will suffice initially. But they do need all these other skills. During this section, we're going to get on and off the interstate highway. This is going to involve merging with high-speed traffic, turning and checking for traffic. This re requires a lot of visual and physical integration when you have cars coming on, coming off, and sharing the lane. This is a, a higher level of driving that not all bioptic drivers wish to try. But for those that would like to try or those that have a need to drive in all types of situations, we definitely expose them to the interstate. The one thing you don't worry about out here is going to be traffic lights and stop signs and so forth, with the exception of when you get to a construction zone. Usually in those construction zones, though, the speed limit goes down, giving them more time to look for those hazards. He 
He's keeping a good, safe, smooth lane position as he's using the telescope. The roadway is, of course, more conducive to speed compared to some of the side streets that we've driven on.